All right, guys, in today's video, we're working on a Garmin Nuvi 3790, and it's got a problem staying on. So we're going to power it on. I'm going to show you kind of what this looks like. So we got it plugged into the mini USB connector on an AC power adapter. We're going to let it boot up here. And I'm just going to show you the behavior. So we'll fast forward through some of this. All right, after it gets booted up, it looks like it's got full power and it looks like it's charging. The only thing I'm showing you here is make sure you've got the little lightning bolt that it indicates it's charging. As soon as we unplug this, it complains that there's a low battery and it's going to have to, to shut that off. Now, if we were to let this charge up, it would go all the way over to green and stop showing this message, but then it would rapidly discharge so that's a sign of a bad battery and if it gets bad enough like this even just plugging it in with the vehicle adapter you can get it just shutting off randomly because it won't be able to keep up with the charging requirements on the vehicle adapter so how do we go about swapping this battery out that's what we're doing today so let's power this guy back off let's get him out of his little mount and basically, we've got um, kind of like an aluminum piece and a plastic piece. And we've got to get this popped off the back to get access to the battery that's roughly here in the middle. Got a selection of different tools here that I'm going to use to try and do that. So there's a seam above the chrome all along here. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find a place where we can find a weak spot on this seam we can push one of these prizing tools in. I like to start around the USB jack on these kind of products and see if I can get in over here. And we're using plastic tools just so we don't damage anything. So once we get a tool to fit in here, we're just gonna try to work it up all the way around. The hard part is just getting it started. Let's see if I can get a larger one in here now that we got it popped up a little bit. That's why I got a variety of different tools here to find which one is going to give me the right tension to get this guy to open up. There we go. We needed something just thick enough to get under here. So I'm going to use these kind of guitar pick like things to hold it as we go all the way around doing the same approach. I guess I'll end up using my finger here because that fell out. All right, so what I'm trying to, I'm switching here because I don't know what the mount point is between the aluminum and the plastic, so I don't want to break it. So I'm just kind of go slow at this seam until I can get the plastic to pop up with the aluminum. Got one more right here on the back. That is becoming stubborn. There we go. All right. Now we've got it open. There's our battery. So the battery is going to plug in, looks like, underneath this little sticker here. Yep. So let's remove this guy. Obviously, the warranty's over, and so you, know, you don't need the number or anything, but it'll help hold it in place just like it did originally. So now we want to get the battery lifted off. So we're going to use a plastic tool for that as well. We're just looking for a good prizing point to overcome the adhesive. I definitely didn't intend for you to service something like this. My Super tight adhesive. 
I don't want to pry it up on this side because I don't want to damage the board. So we're just going to be forced to work it on this side. And we don't want to use a metal tool because if it were to accidentally pierce the case of the lithium ion battery, it could cause a fire. So if it's up enough for me to get my finger underneath it. You can hear it letting go there slowly but surely. All right. So you can see it's just like a huge, super strong double stick kind of tape. We'll leave it in there to hold the replacement battery. All right, so we'll walk it around here. Put this back over there. And now if you zoom in here, we can see how it plugs into the board. Just kind of zoom in enough to see the orientation. And then we're just going to wiggle it out. Just like that. So that's one of these kind of things where it kind of sits in and presses down. Put it back in here so you guys can see, like that. All right. So it doesn't, it doesn't slide out. It just unsnaps and comes up. All right, so now let's put the replacement battery in there. I'll show you the one I selected to take the place of this. This original Garmin one in this 3790 is a 3610004602. Garmin doesn't sell these batteries. You're going to have to go uh, aftermarket. It looks like the original OEM on this was a Sony. No chance on getting something with that great of a brand nowadays, but I'll show you what I picked out, and it should work out just fine. All right, guys, let's uh, take a look at our replacement battery here. All right, so 3.7 volts, 3.7 volts, 1,200 milliamp hours, 840 milliamp hours, 4.4 watt hours, 3.1 watt hours. So this is an upgrade. It's slightly larger, both in the height and in the thickness. But the, man, the uh, seller, the manufacturer, believes it is fine for this application. So let's give that a shot and see. So first we're going to want to get it reinstalled. Trying to see the orientation of the plug. All right, so it should look like this when it's in. Now, this Chinesium type connector just doesn't fit as secure as the OEM one. That's unfortunate that you can't get the OEM battery. So, I'd suggest holding it down. You should manipulate the battery around so we can get it back on the tape here. Because all this twisting around is just going to put more stress on that connector. So I'm just going to orient it right on that double, double stick tape there. And this guy's going to go back down there when we get ready. But for now, we've got to figure out, well, how are we going to orient this so that he'll stay put? Because I feel like he's not going to stay if we don't kind of fold him over, right? Because let, let's watch this, right? If I just go like that, he just slowly pops back off, right? It's just not a good fit. And it's not the connector, right? Because if we put the OEM battery back in here, right, super tight fit, right? It's just the difference between OEM parts Chinesium parts, but that's all you really have to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this back in there. I'm going to try to orient this where we kind of fold this down like this. And then we're going to put a dab of hot glue on this guy to make sure he stays put. And then I think it'll be a fine repair. 
I think all of these batteries are going to have this kind of drama. They're either going to, you know, not fit well or pop out. We're probably safe just putting it back together like this because the the wires are going to hold it down, but I just want an extra piece of insurance. And if we zoom in here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this down with something plastic so we don't short anything. And we're just going to come in here with a hot glue gun. You could put a dab of silicone on here as well. Just want to do that right there. We're just going to kind of smear it around a little bit. All right, now we'll give it a ch chance to dry. And that should keep that connector from moving on top of doing what we're doing right here. Now we can put this guy back around the way he was. And then we'll just start working them closed all the way around. Just going to feel for the alignment of where these clips were. Actually, sorry guys, I had that backwards. Speaker goes across from the USB connector. You should hear these satisfying clicks as you go around. For some reason we don't have a good click here. There it goes, all right. Everything's popped back in. Get this hot glue gun disconnected. Let's put our charger back on. And let's see what we've got. All right, we'll fast forward through this boot sequence again. All right, so it looks like she's charging. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let her sit for a few minutes and charge up and we'll disconnect it and make sure it's running okay with just battery power. All right, guys, we started this at 518. It's 524 now. I don't need to look for any satellites. And let's see how she's doing. So she's holding a charge. It's not giving us a complaint. It's gonna take time to charge it up. So I'm going to continue letting it charge and give you guys an idea about how long it takes to fully charge up. Plug it back in. It goes back to charging, 524. Let's see how long it takes to go all the way. All right, we're at 5.38 p.m., so it's been 20 minutes. Let's see where we're at now. Almost there. If we zoom in, just a little bit more to go, right? So it kind of dropped back around after pulling the power out for it, adjusted and tested it. So we'll give it a little bit more time to see what it takes to get it topped off, and we'll come back and check it again. All right, uh, a minute late here, but another 10 minutes. And she's just got a hair to go. So it went into dark mode already. So I would say, you know, we don't need to necessarily keep going like this. I would say we're going to end up just taking maybe another 5 to 10 minutes to be fully charged with this new battery. And again, we don't have a satellite connection because if you saw earlier, we rejected that just to focus on this. That would have reset our time is why I said no to that. So there you go, a little bit of indication of how long it takes to charge. That's it, guys. I hope this video helps you out. Remember that you don't want to take the old battery and throw it in the trash. This has to be recycled because it's got lithium ion in it. You don't want this ending up in a landfill. So whatever state or county or city you live in, there should be some program to recycle these lithium ion batteries. If you've got questions or comments, leave them below and I'll try to help. If you found this useful and helped teach you how you can get your 3790 or any of the similar Garmin Nuvies back in business, appreciate you paying it forward and hitting that like button. And as always, thanks for watching.